So the magnesium is um, for endurance athletes. It's good yeah. that you take it, but it's like a, a, a problem because already like at baseline, most people in the US are not getting enough magnesium. Hmm. So the RDA for that is like 320 milligrams for women, 420 for men. Where'd they get magnesium back in the day? Like before there Leafy was a green. pill. So, so magnesium is at the center of a chlorophyll molecule. Mm. Chlorophyll give plants their green color. Okay. So plants, green plants are really high in magnesium. magnesium right. Nobody eats green plants. No. Nobody eats them. Not in the US. No. Yeah. Burger King. I mean, I don't, is there anything green on the menu at Burger King? I like green jello. <laughs> <laughs> this gelatin. <laughs> but yeah, so greens. Um, yeah. Almonds are high in it. Nuts too. Uh, mm. But so that's, that's the major dietary source of magnesium. Mm -hmm. um, supplementing also becomes important, particularly for people that are physically active because so half the country, 45 to 50% of the U S population doesn't meet that requirement. Mm. Women in particular don't, okay. but, um, you, you, you lose magnesium in sweat and you lose it in urine. Mm. And so people that are sweating, um, if they're physically active, using the sauna, endurance training, mm -hmm. they're losing a lot of magnesium. And so so athletes can require between 10 to 20% more than the RDA, depending on their their physical activity. activity yeah. And so um, if you're starting with someone, and why is that important? Because for performance, mm -hmm. I mean, it's important for a lot of things, like including cancer, because all your enzymes that repair DNA damage so that's the stuff that causes mutation. You probably think about it more like smoking causes it, UV radiation causes it, but just normal life causes it, like metabolism causes it, just right. eating food. Like, yeah. you know, so, living. but we have, yeah, living. We have enzymes that repair that damage. Mm. Um, they need magnesium to function. So again, one of those things where, oh, you're not getting magnesium for the, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, you're always not getting enough where's the magnesium going to go? Is it going to go to these DNA repair enzymes to prevent cancer, which your body doesn't care about because that doesn't hit until what, fifth, sixth, seventh decade of life? Mm -hmm. Or is it going to go to making energy, which is what you need to survive now? Yeah. Because magnesium is essential to make and to utilize, use it and to make it. Hmm. ATP, it's the form of energy that's made in mitochondria inside of our cells that we, we need to live. Right. So it's one of those things where... Um, even you may not be getting enough for that as well. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, it's required to make heme, hmm. um, which is a component of hemoglobin, which transports oxygen from your lungs and takes it to your muscles when you're exercising. So that's so, like for endurance. For endurance. Yeah. And so I think, and again, I'm just, you know, knowing that half the country is not getting enough magnesium. Now yeah, maybe endurance huge. athletes are the ones that know about it. Or maybe they're not. <laughs> yeah. And maybe and not only that, they have they're supposed to be getting ten to twenty percent more than the RDA. Yeah, I have never heard that. I no, mean, it's it's no one talks about it. Right. No one right. talks about these. These are micronutrients, mm -hmm. right? These are essential vitamins, and minerals we have to get from our diet. So magnesium is mm -hmm. a mineral, but it's not like this isn't something. I mean, people always think of this stuff like. They want to see, you know, that they're not getting scurvy or something on yeah, their gums, right? It's right. Like, no, this is like stuff you can't see, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? This is stuff. Now with performance, you might notice the effect because your yeah. performance but might change. Most people don't notice, you know, an elite athlete would notice 1% increase. Yeah. A regular person just going out for a three mile run, they're not going to notice a, a small incremental a small benefit. You know, right. I mean, you might feel better one day and like, oh, I, I feel that better. Felt, that yeah. felt good. But yeah, it's really hard to notice that, that small percentage. But if you do, and it's like, you're putting all the, to me, I just keep hearing about all these little things you can do that make big differences. You know, magnesium is one. We've talked about a lot of different things, resistance training. But if you're doing all that, holy cow. Right. You, you can change your life. You do everything, right. You try to do everything that you can. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the supplementing with it, like there's, so, so people can supplement with magnesium. There's lots mm -hmm. of forms of it. There's electrolytes. I take the electrolyte, you know, which has magnesium in it. Electrolyte drink element yeah. is what I take. Yeah. But, um, there's tons of them out there, right? Yeah. I think Mountain Ops actually has one too that I, Mountain Ops, that yeah. I tra take. Yeah. Every step I take, I move my truth. Every time they tell me stop, I use. Every comment, hate that makes my feel. Gather up my energy and boom. I hear them talking, saying the way that I move is so reckless. That is a part of my mind I've been blessed with. Giving my blood so I am relentless. My fault, they want someone to blame. They sent their hate, it fuels my pace. I am Roy Tuff, I am.
the change, the few endure. Feeling like Cam Haynes. Oh.